It's that time of the year again. New seasons, fresh episodes, and more binge-worthy anime to sink your teeth into. Whether you're a hardcore weeb or someone who just binges whatever shows TikTok says are trending, I've got a lineup that'll make you laugh, cry, and possibly forget to do your homework. Get ready as we count down the top 10 anime you absolutely must watch this fall. All right, coming in at number 10 is My Hero Academia Season 7. Now, don't come at me with your quirks ready to blast. This one's low on the list because, well, I'm behind. But let me tell you, this season is straight up wild and worth every minute. Our heroes are back in action, but the stakes are higher than ever. We're talking full-scale war between heroes and villains. And oh yeah, some serious jaw-dropping moments. First up, we get introduced to Star and Stripe, America's number one pro hero, who decides to take on Shigaraki after All Might gives her a call for backup. And let's just say, her quirk, New Order, is no joke. It literally lets her rewrite reality by touching things. But of course, Shigaraki wants that quirk for himself. Meanwhile, the students at UA are preparing for the final showdown with the Paranormal Liberation Front. And just when you think the heroes are finally getting a break, boom! It's revealed that one of Deku's classmates has been the traitor all along. As the heroes strategize their final push, we also get a look into the emotional turmoil of the villains. So you can see Season 7 is packed with non-stop action, emotional confrontations, and the beginning of the end for this epic saga. If you've been keeping up, drop me some non-spoiler tips in the comments because I seriously need to catch up. Next up, we've got Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest at number 9. Did anyone really think Natsu Dragneel was done setting everything ablaze? Of course not. This time, Team Natsu, Lucy with her celestial spirits, Grey with his icy powers, the always badass Urza, and of course, Happy, because what's an adventure without a sassy talking blue cat, are all back in action. But they're not just tackling any quest, oh no. This is the 100 year quest the ultimate challenge that no one has dared to complete. This quest involves dealing with insanely powerful dragons known as the Five God Dragons, each one as strong as the legendary Acnologia. These dragons are basically gods, and Team Natsu's mission is to seal them before they wreak havoc on the world. The stakes get higher as they fight not just for their lives, but also for the fate of the entire world. Oh, and did I mention that Natsu gets a huge power boost from Ignea, the fire dragon god, who's actually the son of Natsu's adoptive father, Igneal? Yeah, things get intense. Overall, Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest takes the familiar faces you know and love and throws them into even crazier battles, bigger adventures, and introduces new mysteries that make you wonder how they're going to pull off the impossible once again. And is it just me or... Are things getting overly sexual in here? Not complaining, of course, just an observation. Oh well, guess it can't be helped now. Wink, wink. Coming in at number 8 is... The Osan Newbie Adventurer Trained to Death. This gem introduces us to Rick Gladiator, a 32-year-old clerk turned aspiring adventurer, who's basically your average dad trying to take on a dragon with a lawnmower. Yep. He's not exactly a spring chicken in the adventurer's world, which means the younger crowd is ready to underestimate him, like, Ugh, he's ancient. What's he gonna do? Scribble a grocery list? Spoiler alert, he's about to serve up some serious skills. As Rick navigates through mock battles, quirky friendships, and a cavalcade of ridiculous circumstances, he becomes a beloved underdog. This anime is a must-watch, not just for its laugh-out-loud moments, but also for its heartwarming messages about perseverance and self-discovery. If you're into fantasy with a side of epic fail moments turned victory, along with a sprinkle of Gen Z humor that will have you saying, No cap, I relate, then the Osan newbie adventurer trained to death is your new favorite binge. So grab your snacks and settle in, because Rick Gladiator is about to take you on an adventure filled with laughter, life lessons, and let's be real, 
some seriously questionable training methods. Okay, I couldn't leave out the OG. Dragon Ball Z Daima is sitting pretty at number 7. I've been a Dragon Ball fan since Goku was a kid with a tail, so of course I'm pumped for this. In Dragon Ball Z Daima, Goku and his friends find themselves on the wrong end of a conspiracy that leaves them all pint-sized. Talk about a glow-up gone wrong. Now, instead of hurling enemies into the next galaxy, they're trying not to trip over their own tiny feet. It's like the Z Fighters took a detour to the miniature adventure theme park. It's a nostalgic nod that reminds us just how far Goku has come, or maybe just how little he is now. And mind you, the animation looks crisp as hell. So, if you're ready for some shenanigans, epic battles, and a sprinkle of nostalgia, tune in to Dragon Ball Z Daima. Trust me, it's going to be a blast that's larger than life, despite our heroes being, well, smaller than usual. Sliding in at number 6 is Wistoria, Wand and Sword. Let me tell you, Will is the kind of protagonist you can't help but root for. This guy's at a magical academy where everyone and their grandma can cast spells, except him. I mean, talk about a major oopsie moment for the magical community, right? But does that stop him? Nope. He's all about the sword, swinging it around like it's his personal lightsaber. Will's got heart, grit, and a squad that's basically the magical equivalent of a hype squad. Season 1 just wrapped, so now's the perfect time to binge this underdog story and see if Will can turn his magical misfit status into a glow-up. Trust me, you'll be rooting for him harder than you do for that one TikTok creator who's about to pull off a wild stunt. Because when Will swings that sword, it's like watching the ultimate glow-up happen in real time. You knew One Piece had to be on here. Coming in at number 5, this series has been running longer than some of us have been alive. Seriously, it's like the tortoise of anime, just cruising along while the rest of us are still figuring out how to adult. But that's not stopping Luffy and the Straw Hats from bringing the heat. We're knee-deep in the Egghead Island arc, and if you're caught up on the manga, you know things are about to get wild. We're talking Kuma's tragic backstory and a full-on war brewing on the horizon. It's classic One Piece. Crazy adventures, emotional roller coasters, and Luffy eating way too much meat. Seriously, does that guy ever get full? And following recent events, it has been confirmed that the anime will be on a six-month hiatus so that the studio can work on the animation. While it's a bitter pill, one good thing can come from it. If you haven't caught up, this is your time. At number four, we've got Four Nights of the Apocalypse Season 2, the sequel to the iconic Seven Deadly Sins. If you've read the manga, you already know this season is going to hit the ground running. Like Percival sprinting to the fridge when he smells food. This time, our young heroes are diving head first into some serious action. And trust me, they're ready to show off what they've got. Season 1 laid the groundwork for a fresh generation of heroes. But now, it's time to see them kick things up a notch. We've got Percival, the bright-eyed protagonist with dreams bigger than his appetite, and his ragtag crew facing off against dark forces that make even the most intimidating villains from the original series look like chumps. The story's packed with all the fantasy elements we love. Plus, if you're a fan of the Seven Deadly Sins, get ready for some sweet nostalgia. There are plenty of nods to the original series that'll have you grinning like Meliodas at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Coming in hot at number 3 is Blue Lock Season 2. If you thought soccer was just a friendly game, think again. Blue Lock turns it into a psychological battle where only the best, most ego-driven striker can come out on top. Our boy Asagi is back, and he's not just dribbling around defenders. He's strategizing like a chess master on a soccer field. Alongside the rest of the players, he's facing some of the most intense challenges yet, proving that scoring goals isn't just about skill. It's also about having the guts to take risks and seize the moment. Ego, the mastermind behind it all, is just as intense as ever, pushing these players to their limits. If you love sports anime with a dark twist, this one will keep you on the edge of your seat, wondering who will rise to the top and who will crumble under the pressure. 
I guarantee you'll be screaming at your screen by the end of every episode, whether it's in excitement or despair. Who knows? But one thing's for sure, you won't be able to look away. Number two, Tower of God, baby. This show is wild, and I'm absolutely loving the new season. The higher you go up in the tower, the crazier things get. Think of it as an elevator ride that gets increasingly unpredictable with each floor. The characters? Don't even get me started. They're a wild bunch, with backstories as tangled as a pair of earbuds pulled from your pocket after a long day. Bam! Our main guy is still on a heart-wrenching quest to find Rachel. As he climbs the tower, he faces increasingly dangerous challenges from brutal tests that push him to his limits to fierce competitors who are just as determined as he is. The journey is fraught with intrigue, betrayal, and enough plot twists to keep even the most seasoned anime watchers on their toes. Just when you think you know what's coming, boom! The rug is pulled out from under you. And don't even get me started on how deep the lore goes. If you haven't started watching this yet, what are you even doing? Seriously, don't sleep on this. This season's going to blow your mind harder than your crush ignoring your texts. And finally, and number one, we've got Shangri-La Frontier, Season 2. I'll admit, I wasn't sure what to expect from this show, but man, did it deliver. The series follows Rokuro Hizutome, a teen with a unique taste in gaming. He's all about those trash games. The old school titles filled with glitches and quirks that only a select audience can appreciate. After mastering these challenging games, Rokuro decides to switch things up and dive into the best-selling virtual reality game, Shangri-La Frontier. With a whopping 30 million registered players, this full-dive VR experience is a far cry from the buggy adventures he's used to. Entering the game as Sunraku, his bird-masked avatar, Rokuro's skills and experience from those trash games become his secret weapon in this new realm. As he navigates through the colorful landscapes and faces off against formidable foes, it's like watching your friend who plays only on easy mode suddenly tackle the hardest difficulty. Hilarious and impressive all at once. Season 1 had me hooked, and I'm seriously hoping Season 2 is packed with even more action, drama, and those incredible gaming moments that make this series so fun. I'm betting on another 24 episodes, because once you start this series, you won't want it to end. So, there you have it. The top 10 anime to binge this fall. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to be notified of the latest updates. That said, see you in the next one.